Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make my country fried steak with some mashed potatoes and brown gravy. So if you're interested in learning how to make that, continue watching. Okay guys, so some of, this is some of the ingredients that you'll need. I'm gonna tell you, I already have my potatoes boiling. I just decided that I'm gonna do this video, so I'm sorry. Okay, so we got some regular potatoes that I peeled. I left a little skin on my potatoes because I like a, lot, a little skin in my mashed potatoes. And I just cut them up into little cubes and those are boiling. We got some canola oil. We got the brown gravy mix. I haven't quite tried making my own from scratch yet, so I'm just gonna use the McCormick. We got some butter. Um, this is our cube steak. This is what you use, sorry that this pot this <laughs> deep fries in a way, but this is what you use to make your country fry steak. So, cube steak. We got some cornstarch, some all-purpose flour, some seasoned flour. I got almond milk and eggs. The reason why I have almond milk is because my husband is allergic to dairy. So, um, we have to use non-dairy products. Um, yeah, I know the eggs, but he'll be okay with the eggs. But it's mainly milk and cheese that really bothers him. So, we're going to do the almond milk. So, yeah, that is what you'll need. And let's get into this video. And sorry it's a little ghetto recorded because I dropped my tripod and broke it. So, I'm recording on my phone. All right. Okay, so first we're gonna make our little flour batter that we're gonna use. I also forgot to say that I am gonna use a couple of seasonings in our flour batter. So first, let's put uh, some flour in a bowl. I just use always use my little long Tupperware bowl. Sorry, that's my son, y'all. He's over there watching his show. So I put some flour in here enough where you can um, coat the cube steaks. We're gonna put some flour. We're also gonna put our cornstarch. This just, oh, this just makes it a little extra crispy. We'll just put a little bit of that. Y'all know I don't measure. We're gonna take our seasoned flour. I just like this on like fried chicken and obviously my steak because it has a little seasoning in it. But it's really good. So put that in there. And then also season your flour. So we're gonna use some adobo, my favorite, as y'all know. A little seasoning all. You're also gonna season your steaks a little bit too. Garlic powder. onion powder. Oh, this is a fresh one too. Okay. You're just going to take your utensil and just mix that around so the seasoning don't just be in one place. It'll be mixed around in your flour. Okay, and then after doing that, we're gonna take our eggs and we're gonna make our egg um, batter. And this is just good to hold the flour onto the cube steak and also get, get it all golden and nice and pretty. So I think I'm gonna do three eggs. going to take your milk any type of milk that you like I'm non-dairy y'all can use whole milk this is my first time this is my first time using a non-dairy milk to fry something so we're gonna see okay and then you're just gonna pour just a little bit in your eggs 
I'm not measuring y'all, so I don't know how much. And then mix your eggs up with that milk. Mm-hmm. And then you got your nice little beat. take our steaks and put them on this plate and season them up. I really wish I could wash these off, but I guess I can't. Okay, so just take your seasoning. We'll take my seasoning all and just sprinkle a little bit on there because don't forget your flour is seasoned as well. Garlic powder. The same seasons that we put in the flour, I'm gonna put on the steak. Onion powder. And adobo. Don't forget to flip them over and do the same to the other side. take our canola oil and we're going to pour it in the skillet or whatever you're going to be frying your stuff in just enough to make sure it coats your um coat your cube steaks all right so now we're about to do the assembly line Mommy. Huh? So I'm gonna flip them just to make sure the seasoning kind of get into it. Okay, so you take your steak, dip it into the egg. And you're gonna put it in the flour. Okay, and then you're just going to flip these into the flour and make sure they get coated very well. Mommy. Hmm. Let me see if I can flip the camera. I don't want to flip. Y'all see that? Just make sure they're coated. We got term of grease on. Coated and nice and ready to go. Then you also can put your top on and give it a good shake so you know that it's coated. You also can dip it in the egg again and dip it back into the flour if you want extra, extra crunchy crunch. Okay, so let me season my other ones and get those going too. So our potatoes are soft and ready to go. 
Carson. Hush. <laughs> Are soft and ready to go. So we're just gonna throw these in a strainer in the sink. My little strainer over here. We're gonna throw them in the strainer and let them strain. And then we're gonna put them back in the pot. Mix them up with some butter, salt and pepper. And make sure they're mushy and ready to go. All right, so I just drained my potatoes. So I'm gonna add some butter to them. Um, the butter that I use is Earth Balance. It is a non-dairy butter. It's a vegan, vegan buttery sticks. So um, this is my first time using a vegan butter for my mashed potatoes. So we will see how it goes. I think it's gonna be pretty good. Recently, we just had our first vegan pizza. Well, not vegan, sorry. It was a non-dairy pizza and it was really good. Okay, so I'm probably gonna use this whole thing because I use three potatoes but I'm just gonna split them up in half. So, threes. And put it in there. There we go, we got the butter in there. And I might add some more butter because I like them very buttery. And the more butter you use, the softer your potatoes will be. Sorry guys, it's kind of hard to hold the phone and try to cook, so yeah. So. I'm gonna add some salt, and the salt I'm using is my fine sea salt. I like sea salt because it you can taste it more. And I got it fine because those big salt, sea salt chunks be too crunchy. And some black uh, pepper. You wanna put this in before you mix it so it'll all be mixed together. I'm trying to decide if I wanna add bacon bits to it. to use when I mash my potatoes is this and then I also use a fork so I'm gonna start off with this because this to get the chunks down you also can add milk to them to get them more mushy I'm just doing this to get the chunks down Stop. All right, so my mashed potatoes is ready to go. We're going to cover those up and let them chill while we get on to our country fries day. So in this small pot, we're gonna do our gravy mix. And with your gravy mix, you just need a packet or two. I'm doing two packets of gravy mix. And then if you're gonna do two packets, you're gonna do two cups of water. One packet is one cup of water. So first, what we're gonna do is open up our packets and pour them into the pot. The grease is getting hot. Take our two cups of water and pour it in and stir. Just continue to stir until your gravy comes to a little boil. Fire hot. And when you don't see any more powder chunks in your gravy. That's what it's gonna look like and you're just gonna stir it. Drop 
just a little piece of flour and our grease to see if it's ready. And it started sizzling, so it is ready. So we're gonna take our cube steak and drop them in. And let those fry. Uh, I don't know how long, but just until you know they golden and ready to go. Probably about a good mm, 15, 20 minutes and it should be ready. Okay, our gravy is getting thicker. Continue to stir. And let it come to a boil. Okay. It's going good. It's looking good. It's starting to bleed. That's a good thing. Get all that out of there. Make sure you guys don't use the same utensil that you put your meat in the fryer with unless you wash it. I just get another one. Because this meat is almost cooked and you put raw meat in your fryer. So get a new utensil or wash the one that you have. Alright guys, this is about ready. I have flipped them like three, four times. I just want to make sure each side gets cooked thoroughly, so it's good to probably flip them if you're going to be cooking in a skillet like this instead of deep frying them. So yeah. So let's take them out. Yes, 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 yes. And set them on a paper towel and let them drain. first batch has officially drained and look at it looking no good wait till we put some of that gravy on top second batch is cooking we almost there y'all we almost there all right y'all this is the finished product we got our country fried steak and our Mashed potatoes with skin with the gravy, gravy, delicioso. So yes, y'all make sure y'all cook this. If y'all make it, comment and let me know how it was. I'm about to smash it. Sorry, my plate's so small, y'all. <laughs> um, I gotta go to work, so I just shared half of one with my son, so I don't be all full at work. And then when I get back home. Oh, it's going down. I might do y'all a little video eating it up. All right, y'all. So, comment below. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, share my channel, uh, comment. Let me know what y'all think, what y'all, some uh, app, uh, recipes y'all would like me to do. Um, and yeah, that's it. Thank y'all for tuning in and have y'all a good night. Bye, y'all. Okay, I just have to share y'all this first bite. I couldn't go. So let's get this first bite in. So, we're gonna get a little bit of mashed potato with the country fries steak. I'm so excited because I love country fries steak. Okay, I love it. Let's go. Prepare. Mmm. That's good right there. Let me smell my taste. That gravy is so good. 
Fuck at home. Uh, made from scratch. This do for me. That's good. I'm holding this phone so I can't cut it. So I bite it. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. I better make this. I think some people beat their steak a little flatter. I guess it makes it bigger. Mm, I might try that next time. All right, y'all, for real this time. I'm about to go. I ain't going back. Like, share, subscribe comment all that and try it make it all right bye y'all